themselves now. We'll just throw down to James Coleman for another presentation. The next presentation is the women's under 20 discus. In third place, with a throw of 29.58 metres, from Knox, Oliver Ryan. In second place, with a throw of 32.14 metres, from Diamond Valley, Alexandra Mills. In first place is our Victorian champion with a throw of 37.98 metres from Doncaster Athletic Club, Stephanie Ratcliffe. Our invitational athlete from New South Wales with a throw of 36.91 metres, Lauren Clark. Thanks James and congratulations to our medalist there and back on the steeplechase we're through the first lap in about 82, the long lap there. So Coglin just has a look at the clock there. She's leading this, Sophie Coglin. We've also got Matilda Moore's up there, Sophie Westcott's up there, Sasha Bennett's up there, also Bianca Skerry. So as they sort themselves out, Coglin's in the under 17 comp and leading. So Skerry's also in that competition. Well, we've got Bennett, Moore and Westcott all in the under-18s. So I'll throw our eyes down now to the water jump, which resembles a washing machine on the first lap as the girls go through. Not much different on the second lap. Lots of water splashing up, so... No one's got a distinct advantage going through the water at this stage. They're all fairly similar in technique and they're all fairly similar in, in raising lots of water there. Coglin leads it, and that's Westcott to the outside. Matilda Moore from Bendigo, she's slipping into third position there. Then it's scary. Then that's Rich, uh, sorry, that's Bennett. The next position there is Emily Dare from Sandringham. So it's still quite a bunch field. Two age groups going. We'll try and keep them, keep you up to date as possible of the leaders in each of the age divisions. But at the moment, it's certainly the under 17 there in Coglin. And she's got the under 18 next to her, who's Sophie Westcott from Box Hill. So Coglin leads, then Westcott, then Moore. Then we have Scary. Starting to bunch up again here. It's quite a choppy race, this one. Which means it's going to be messy again as they come through. The girls will be going this way, that way to try and get clear space on this water jump to get the foot on and through. So once again, no one's got great style. Probably the Huntley runner there is probably falling back a little bit more than the others. So needs to get better clearance through the water. So Coglin and Westcott still lead. Moore just drifting back a bit as we see Scary starting to come through. The Glen Huntley runner is McBurney. So she's looking good in between the barriers, but just has to do a bit of work through the water to get better clearance. But McBurney's work. Working it well sort of way through beautifully here as we've got two laps to go. So Coglin leads Westcott. Scary's making a move now, went around the outside of Westcott there. Scary is in the under 17s and she's trying to chase down Coglin, who's in the same age group. Westcott's in the under 18s. McBurney's also under 18 and I think looking quite good here. So Scoglin, sorry, Coglin, Scary. Westcott, McBurney, Moore still up there. Go for it.
This is the metal presentation for the main on the 15 2000 meter steeplechase. In third place, at the time of 6 minutes and 42.45 seconds, from Geelong Hill, or Hill St. Bernard, sorry, Mitchell Langbaum. In second place, with a time of 6 minutes and 36.45 seconds from Geelong Hill, Ethan Brooks. In first place, is our Victorian champion, with a time of 6 minutes and 32.25 seconds from Frankston Athletic Club, Bailey Wyatt. So into the last lap and Coglin has led all the way. She's got the same age group there, which is scary from Sandringham, stalking her in second position. McBurney from Glen Huntley, she's moved into the first position here, third overall on the track, but first in the under 18s as Westcott starts to drift back a bit. I think that's Dare from, from Sandringham. She's now moved past Westcott in the same age group. So can Coglin hang on? If she can, it's a remarkable effort. She has led all the way. So Coglin's only got three barriers to go. Scary, not at this stage making any impression. McBurney's cleared into nice space there. Then it's Dare and Westcott. And that could be Bennett, I think, from Old Severians in next position. So Coglin's up and over the water jump for the last time. She's through, not great, but it was enough to get through because Scary wasn't any, any better at all. So Coglin's only got one barrier to go. So if anything, we're seeing a move here. And that will be Dare. She's taken control now of the under 18 competition as we see the two under 17s will take one, two. And that's Coglin. What a brave run that is. So great running there, Sophie Coglin. She'll take out the under 17. Scary will stay in the silver medal position there. Emily Dare is going to come through and she'll claim the under 18s from Juliet McBurney. Richardson, haven't called her name much, but Liv Richardson's come through. Looks like she'll get the bronze medal there. Matilda Moore will be next. She'll get the bronze in the under 18s. And then we have Westcott, Bennett. Then we have Kenny coming through. Georgia Durham will be next. And it's the Essendon runner there in Youngtha. Then Ava Bennett being mowed down here though. Yeah, I'd say that was Kelsey Barrett just stole that one over the line.